uh, other Machamp players and won all his sets with Darkrai very uh, convincingly. But it's still, it's always one of those things where you are a human, and if you make one mistake Agreed. against a pro grappler player in any fighting game, I am not. You don't in know their setups. I'm you not in disagreement know. at all. But it is most definitely Machamp's worst matchup. So yeah, it's gonna I'm be hard for Azazel. Az 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 That's a very big potential early upset. Oh, what are these Sid Fox player. glasses? I'm not used to seeing him with glasses. Let's go. Yeah, oh. he's been wearing them a lot. So who's this other player? M. Mook. Oh, sorry. Moi Moi Mook. Moi Moi Mook. Okay, got it. I'm going to call him Moi Moi. <laughs> Gardevoir player. Uh, Sid Fox historically has not done well in this matchup. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if he is ready, though. Boomerang, though. Here's, That'll help out. Nice. Oh, nice chase down, yeah. Said, don't jump on me. Ooh, <laughs> do ah, no not. Oh, light screen in his face. But there's that counter. That's all it takes to reverse the tides. Just a few good counters. That was some nice uh, RPS decisions there from Sid Fox. Definitely. He... I feel like he already identified like Moog's player level. He's like, I know what he's going to do. It seems like in. he has. Okay, and just like that, Sid Fox on the verge of winning this, but yeah. gets thrown. He was already doing it. It's too late. Now, is Sid Fox going to use Verse? He is. Yeah, it's going to be the standoff. I think he'll activate as well. Mook, he's going to try to waste as much time as he can before he has to. Oh, oh that might be punished. <laughs> yes, it will be. What a crazy whiff punish. That was a he, crazy whiff punish. He like went through it. I think... Uh, Moi Moi, is that the name? I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm Moo. saying it right. Moo? Yeah, it, I mean, his Twitter is Moi Moi Moo, but... Moi Moi Moo. Okay, so Moo, um, I feel like he was trying to bait Sid Fox to use Burst, and then ended up positioning himself poorly, and got punished as a result. He wasn't planning for that. Yeah, those things happen. They do. Uh, Ooh, big counter from the start with Sid Fox. Throwing out Gardevoir Jump A is like one of the scariest things you can do. Nice bait. Yeah, very clean bait there. Okay, Ninetales is going to give him some space here. It's a good assist. So the Ninetales hit did not activate Magikarp, I don't think. No, I don't think so. What either. did? What got rid of the Magikarp? Not sure. Did not quite pay attention Weird. to that. Yeah, that like went way over my head. But it's fine. We're back in field phase. Sid Fox really He's going to have to activate. He's Ooh. not using it. I peek. Oh my goodness. Perfecto. Yeah, so those situations where I know you want to save your burst, you just have to activate if you want to stay in the match comes down to those situations sometimes. So hopefully move will be ready going into game two. Sid Fox for all the rust the man has in this game. That looked pretty methodical. That it looked did. like old times. It looked I like he still knew how to move. I would like to see less air movement actually from move in field. I want to see him just make use of his ground, ground projectiles because Gardevoir has some of the best ground projectiles in the game. So really would like to see him make use of that. There we go. Okay. I feel like he's already kind of fueled out everything he needs to do to defeat this specific Gardevoir player today. Yeah, but Moo nice. really just needs to Ooh. watch his spacing here. Goes for the safe 2i option. I like that. Right. So he, he, I think he noticed now that 2i option kind of told me that Sid Fox noticed that Moog has changed his defensive options. It's so he's trying to figure out what they are. Yes. All right. That was a good challenge there from Moog. Now he's got his space, but he chooses that. That was a good choice. Whoa, whoa, it's behind him. Oh, oh my goodness. Breaks in. The nerf doesn't matter. It's still low It doesn't crushes. matter. All right, he really needs to position himself as best as possible outside of boomerang range and chuck those projectiles on the ground. Whoa. There we go. That's what I want to see. Now he's got to move back, not forward. That move doesn't seem confident with throwing things out right now. Okay, that was nice. nice. Very nicely placed projectiles there. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's really got to get his projectile game started much more quickly. Moog is blocking a lot more now, I noticed. That's yeah. good. It is good, but wow, he still the execution for that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he doesn't even play. I know, but he still was doing it to me last time when I played him. Yo, I played Brakeson for like a month, and I did it like once in training mode. <laughs> well, <laughs> like a thousand tries. Sid Fox is a committed Brakeson, even though he doesn't play as much anymore. So he knows this is crap. Oh, oh. it stopped her out of burst. That's the one time he didn't uh, air, air dash backwards. Oh man, yeah, that was good conditioning, not Sid Fox. Right. That's what Moog was looking for, the air dash. Oh, okay. He blocked. Hey. Good stuff, good stuff. I like it. Very doable. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh. Gardevoir's damage output oh, known for being very high. Nice. That's ah. going to be it, though. Wow, quick set there between Sid Fox and Moog. Damn. I just felt like um, Moog was quite uncomfortable throughout most of that set, and whereas Probably. Sid Fox really uh, seemed to be in control. Um, but, you know, like as Gardevoir, I feel like 
Um, like you were saying, Sid Fox historically has a pretty hard time in that matchup, but I felt like Moog was trying to play a little more unconventional yeah. Gardevoir, and I think if he started stuck to the more conventional play, I felt like maybe play, his roommate or his dog's girlfriend at one point told him that he was a spammer. 